This tutorial is designed to show you how to drop a grade in the Grade Center in Blackboard 9. What we'll do is we'll talk about categories, creating a total column, dropping a grade in a category, and then the primary and secondary displays. So what we need to first do is go into a course that we're interested in dropping the grades with. And we're going to go under the Grade Center by clicking this over arrow. And what we first want to do is make sure that if these three tests are the grades that I want to drop a category with is I have to make sure that they are all in the same category so the way I do that is I go to manage and I go to column organization and if I scroll down here you'll notice that tests one two and three both have the category of tests or all three have the category of tests and if one of them didn't I can always change categories by selecting them all and go change category to and make them all test okay I have to submit my changes. Now, if you'll notice, I have a total column that has all the grades. And I could modify this and, and drop grades in it. But what I'm going to do is, just so you can see the difference, is I'm going to create a new total column. So I'm going to go Create Calculated Column and down to Column, Total. And this is going to be the total um, with drop. Okay. Now, what I need to do is I'm going to go down here a little bit further and I'm going to go selected I want to include in the total selected column and categories and then I'm going to click this button right here select and if I, I only have one category in this course but if I had more than one I'd want to move all of them over even if I'm going to not drop them but I'm going to focus on tests here so I'm going to click on tests and move it over and now I want to drop grade and there's sometimes an error in how this displays but I don't want to drop the highest grade, I want to drop one of the lowest grade. Okay, If you want to drop more than one, you can put two or three. And then if I had any other categories I wanted in this total co column, I'd just select them and move them over. But this is the only category in this particular course. Now remember, if it's a calculated as a running total, if there's a dash, you have to put a zero in it, otherwise it won't count that column. And then the other thing I'm going to think about is my primary and secondary display, because I want to figure out the percentage as well for this. So I'm going to put percentage as a secondary display. Remember that students don't see that. Okay, they see the primary display. So I'm going to hit submit down here. And what you'll notice is this first student got a 90% on the first two exams, and they got a 60 on the third exam. But now with their drop, they have a 90%, so 180 points. The second student, their average on their two highest exams would be an 80. They didn't do well in the third exam, so you can see with that drop, it's an 80%. And then this last student, they got 100 on the first two exams, didn't take the last exam, but they still have 100% because we use that dropping mechanism. So it's easy to drop a column or a grade or two in a particular category in Blackboard 9. You just have to do that under the total column. And like I said earlier, if you didn't want to do, create a new total column, you can drop this total column that's already in existence and go edit the column information and do the same thing that we did over here. So that's the tutorial for dropping a grade. Thanks for watching.